Meet the Andersons, the quintessential 1950s American family navigating the joys and challenges of suburban life in a classic TV series. The show, which debuted in 1954, takes you on a journey into the heart of family dynamics, offering a nostalgic glimpse into a bygone era. Why does this series continue to hold a special place in viewers' hearts? What qualities make it a timeless symbol of the industry? The answers unfold as you delve into the lives of Jim and Margaret Anderson and their three children. The show's charm lies in its relatable portrayal of everyday situations where humor, shock, and even sadness often coexist. As you watch, be prepared for a roller coaster of emotions as it tackles a myriad of family experiences. The beauty of the series lies not just in its laughter-inducing moments, but also in its ability to shed light on the unexpected twists life throws at us. Have you ever found inspiration or felt a personal connection to this classic show? Share your stories in the comments below, as we'd love to hear about the funny, shocking, or poignant moments that have left a lasting impression. So sit back, relax, and join the Andersons on their journey through the ups and downs of family life. What's your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this timeless series? Share it with us in the comments below. Your stories are the heart of this community. Get ready for a trip down memory lane filled with laughter, surprises, and a touch of nostalgia. Many more funny, shocking, and sad facts await you. Keep watching and share your moments with us. In 1954, a classic TV series, Father Knows Best graced screens, offering a glimpse into the lives of the Anderson family. Set in 1950s suburban America, the show follows Jim and Margaret, the parents, along with their three children. The series captures family dynamics in a relatable and humorous manner. Viewers experience the ups and downs of daily life with the Andersons, finding charm in the portrayal of everyday situations. Laughter, surprises, and poignant moments create a roller coaster of emotions. Jim and Margaret anchor the show, navigating parenthood with warmth and humor. Their three children contribute unique flavors to the narrative, each dealing with the challenges of growing up in their way. The simplicity of the series captures the essence of family experiences, making it a timeless symbol of the industry. Father Knows Best stands the test of time, earning a place in viewers' hearts. Its enduring appeal lies in inducing laughter and shedding light on life's unexpected twists. The show becomes a touchstone for those appreciating the beauty of family life with relatable characters and timeless themes. This classic TV series hasn't gone unnoticed in the industry, achieving milestones and garnering acclaim. It solidifies its status as a noteworthy contribution to television history. As viewers journey through the Andersons' world, they immerse themselves in a narrative transcending generations. Whether discovering it for the first time or revisiting cherished memories, the show promises a trip down memory lane filled with laughter, surprises, and a touch of nostalgia. Share your experiences and join the community in celebrating the show's enduring impact. Set in the suburban landscape, likely Springfield, Illinois, Father Knows Best captures the essence of 1950s family life. Derived from an NBC radio series, the show underwent a shift in the character of Jim when transitioning to television. On radio, Jim was somewhat clumsy and prone to embarrassing mishaps, but the TV version presents him as wiser, making significantly fewer mistakes. Notably, the Anderson's kitchen served a practical purpose beyond the screen. Equipped with functional appliances, it became a hub for preparing coffee and pastries for the cast and crew as they commenced their work in the mornings. The show subtly explores regional elements, mentioning a wedding in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, a new girl from Chicago, and even featuring an episode where Bud's homing pigeon is released in Rockford, all locales in relative proximity to Springfield, Illinois. Father Knows Best distinguishes itself by blending relatable family dynamics with a touch of humor. The simplicity of the series lies in its ability to connect with viewers, offering a timeless portrayal of everyday situations. Jim and Margaret, the anchors of the show, navigate parenthood with warmth and humor, creating a narrative that transcends generations. As viewers immerse themselves in the Andersons' world, they experience the ups and downs of daily life. The charm of the series lies not only in inducing laughter, but also in shedding light on the unexpected twists that life often brings. The appeal of Father Knows Best comes from its relatable characters and timeless themes, securing its place in the annals of television history. In summary, with its grounded portrayal of family life, regional nuances, and the evolution of its characters, the show continues to connect with audiences, making it a noteworthy contribution to television. 
Father Knows Best, stemming from a radio series, smoothly transitioned to television in 1954. The Anderson family's suburban life, possibly in Springfield, Illinois, forms the backdrop of the show, portraying typical 1950s family dynamics. Interestingly, the Anderson house, a central setting in the series, was previously the residence of Blondie and Dagwood Bumstead in the 30s and 40s Blondie movie series. Situated on Blondie Street, this house later appeared in Dennis the Menace and I Dream of Jeannie. Blondie Street, a fake street, served as the backdrop for several other notable TV series like Bewitched, The Donna Reed Show, Hazel, Gidget, and The Partridge Family. Father Knows Best faced a challenging start as it struggled with poor ratings upon its 1954 debut, leading to its cancellation by CBS in March 1955. However, a flood of viewer protests prompted its reinstatement, with a strategic time slot change propelling it into success. The series gradually found its footing, resonating with audiences and earning its place as a classic. Adding an interesting twist to the cast, Eleanor Donahue, who portrayed a 17-year-old character, was already a married mother off-screen during the show's run. This fact adds a subtle nuance to the dynamics of the Anderson family on screen. The show's kitchen, beyond its role in scenes, served a practical purpose for the cast and crew, becoming a hub for morning preparations with functional appliances. Furthermore, regional elements subtly woven into the narrative, mentioning locales like Milwaukee, Chicago, and Rockford, provide a nuanced touch to the series. In essence, Father Knows Best distinguishes itself by seamlessly blending relatable family dynamics with humor. Jim and Margaret, the anchors of the show, navigate parenthood with warmth and humor, creating a narrative that transcends generations. Viewers immersed in the Anderson's world experience the ebb and flow of daily life, the show's charm lies not only in inducing laughter, but also in shedding light on the twist life often brings. In summary, the TV show, with its memorable settings, tumultuous journey to success, and subtle off-screen nuances, remains a timeless symbol of 1950s family life on television. In two important episodes, Betty's daughter, Ellen, was played by Kyle Richards, known for her role on The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. Some actors from Father Knows Best also appeared in Dennis, the menace like Herbert Anderson, Sylvia Field, and Gloria Henry, who took on more significant roles. Billy Gray, when looking back on the series, worried about the unreal situation shown, thinking they had a bad effect on how people see things. Gray felt sorry for being part of it, saying the show show would false ideas, especially about how men and women interact. He pointed out that the show added to creating misleading examples where characters often didn't tell the truth, causing misunderstandings. Father Knows Best not only displayed family relationships, but also had a lasting effect on the careers of its actors. The reunion episodes had Kyle Richards making connections to today's reality TV, while Herbert Anderson, Sylvia Field, and Gloria Henry became more well-known in Dennis the Menace. Despite Billy Gray's concerns, the show's influence goes beyond what was shown on screen, shaping later TV generations and the careers of its actors. 